Hello, this is TJR, and behind every great guitar, there's a story. As a guitarist, one of the great things about attending the NAMM show is seeing the wide array of custom guitars on display. Guitars that double as both high-end functional instruments, but are also visual works of art in their own right. And perhaps nowhere is this term more relevant than when referring to Minerick guitars. The brainchild of founder Mark Minerick, he began as most of us do, a guitarist playing in a band looking for an endorsement deal. An encounter with BC Rich Guitars led to his first attempt at a guitar design. BC Rich Company President Bernie Rico was so impressed with him that he told him he needed to start his own company. Fast forward to today, and Minerick Guitars make some of the most artistically unique and daring guitars on the market. Guitars like the Inferno, the Obscura, the Goddess, and the Absinthe are not only meant to be played, but also meant to be admired as works of art. Going to this weekend's NAMM show, we got to see two absolutely amazing pieces of guitar art. First, this exquisite Alice in Wonderland guitar, with artwork inspired not from the Disney film, but from the actual book by Lewis Carroll and the original illustrations by John Tenniel. But next is this amazing authorized collaboration with the Walt Disney Company, based on the popular Disneyland Haunted and Mansion ride. And owner Mark Minerick was kind enough to tell us a little bit about the guitar. Each one of these had a unique inlay, so the seven would be a seven. Each headstock plate was unique to the guitar. So uh, it's not just like writing one of ten on the back with a pen. We really went the extra mile to make this um, over the top. For example, look at the spider webs up here. Those are all micro lines of white mother of pearl. We had to mask those off, and it, believe me, that was not easy to get the purple burst inside of it. So as you continue to, to look at the guitar and find new items and new, new things that we hid there, it's really a, a never-ending rabbit hole, uh, which we enjoy doing those types of things here. So if, if we hadn't stepped in and gotten number 10 to hold back, they, they would have all been gone and into private collections. And there, there were some pretty noteworthy people that bought these. I'm not going to name drop, but um, you'd know who they are. At least three of them I know most people watching would know exactly who these people are. So there's a lot of people that follow Disney, and especially there's a special a love for the Haunted Mansion ride because um, it's just such a unique thing and maybe kind of unusual for Disney to do, you know, when everything was the princess and the, the Snow White, and, and then you have that. So um, there's a, a big following to this, this whole, like a culture. So we've gotten a lot of wonderful feedback for uh, teaming up with Disney, which everyone will uh, agree was an unusual collaboration, but it worked. There was so much magic in what we did with Disney. I, again, I can't speak for them, but um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if some more magic happens. Uh, but uh, that being said, right now we'll just focus on the Haunted Mansion.